Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Great War Redux mod using this special sub mod for the Ching uh, the Ching Nation basically and I'm your host Mr. Saifeng Loverbutt We have a Master Western Rebellion Our Western Territories tired of foreign rule and wanting independence have jointly declared independence are now actively rebelling against us Xinjiang as well as Xinjiang and Bog Khanate and Tibet. Darn it! Revolutionary activity booms! With the Triple Revolt happening, revolutions are skimming to even more. What more? Oh, we lose 100 days. Well, that sucks. So now we're down to 703 days, which is still pretty good. Let's be real. Follow his advice. We could do that if we really wanted to get some political power. We got quite a few comments to go through as well. But, uh, yeah, not good. I converted these guys to cavalry immediately just because um, we might need them as cavalry. In all honesty, we might really need them to do that. Just because, as some of the comments would say, I'm going to fight these guys. It's going to kind of suck, especially when supply is just so god-awful. Um, I did make them, though, 10 combo with. Never mind, they're, they're 5. Oh, crap. Maybe converting them was a bad idea. Then again, 12 combat width, 12 soft attack. Five combo with ten soft attack, Seven, seventy organization, sixty-two HP. Oh, these guys have way more HP. Oh my goodness, that was a bad idea. But we need we need just mobile units. We just need mobility. Hopefully, um, of course. Last time we did talk about all this stuff as well as this one, state level anti-corruption council. So hopefully we do okay. You know, I'm hoping we do all right. There's no guarantee that we'll do okay, but you know, that's what we're here to do. Just do the best we can, because as we discovered last time I did this, if you watched the campaign. Fighting Mongolia sucks. So the goal is just to take as many VPs as possible, so. Hey, go, go up here. Um, yo, my god. That supply is really bad. I'm gonna ignore Sinkyong for now. I want you guys to come to Delasa. Um, and do that too. Do that too. Just take everything you possibly can and get down here as well. If you can get rid of Tibet fast, that'd be great. Oh, yeah, we're not going to do well here. Yeah, supplies are just garbage. How many divisions do they have? It's not They don't have that many divisions, but, like, cavalry is just not very strong. Oh, I have to do myself. Should we book rest? All right. First slide across the Mediterranean. Cool. Oh, this is such a going to be a pain in the butt. But if we can take Lhasa and all these extra little Tibetan territories... Well, I think that'd be great. I think that'd be stupendous. We're still getting some political power, though, which is actually really nice, but... Uh, we'll go through some councils as well very soon, too. Oh, we get them there. Oh. Well, hmm. If that's... Oh, you do that. So you... Kangdo? You. As long as these guys stay in place, we should do okay with those guys. Ooh. Go right there. The ABC conference, very nice, very nice. We're gonna lose even more political power now, gosh darn it. And this one as well. And we get more days, huh? Alright, so that's the case. 712 days, not bad. We could grab that one, but since we're paused, let's talk about some comments, such as Don't worry about political power for now. We're going to war. It's pretty much a waiting game because you will get at least some uprisings. It's better to do a lot of reforms and start get start your industry rolling. Also, if you have more days than you think, you can burn them for PP. Uh, if, it's, if, I, if someone says, if he recalls, it's possible to pay up a few of your debts that way by specifically taking all the focuses, getting a huge buffer of days, and spending the days. Might be worth poking off screen. Also, small warning, but you will not have supply or industry to wage war for a long time, so don't bother even getting in in the first great war. It's better to wait, than stab the Soviets and Japanese in the back when they crop up or no longer in the top. Someone says we should do the crackdown on Mongolia focus so your nation doesn't break apart. Too late. Someone says slow and steady wins the race is what this focus is saying to him. Um, you'll want to deal with the Mongols soon. They're going to rebel with Tibet and Xinjiang. It's a massive drain of resources. Yes, it is. Someone says, play Kiganovich, Tumen, and Tiano. Why continue the Republic of China series? Well, we'll see. You'll probably do another one. Um, someone says, can you do the U.S. in this mod, but go full Bull Moose path? Someone says, we should do Pu Yi. Uh, someone says, after th that, or after this campaign, do the same for the revolutionaries. Start a campaign for both Yuang Shi Kai and the KMT. And someone says, you also might want to do the Mongolian soon, because it's bad for supply. And someone says, spot of the old opium, mate. God save the king. And try the Patrick Empire in this mod next. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. I mean, this is, this is pretty god-awful doing all this stuff. But, uh, Urga? Go to Urga. If you can kill these divisions off, that'd be great. You know what? Don't even go there. Guys, just go do that. Hey, not bad so far. Hey, encircling them is actually usable. 
So maybe we'll get some more political power. We'll see. Take the towel, man. Take the towel. Building sabotage. Building sabotage. What? Hey! Not bad. Hey, too bad to go. We got, they had no. They had nothing except. Okay. Whatever. I want you guys to come up and around. Honestly, you could probably just make one big old front line now. You could still use Field Marshal, though. Go in there, too. A Field Marshal? Yes! You. Don Kiri. Or Kiri. Kiri. Oh, we don't have enough command power. That sucks. We barely had enough command power to get that stuff, huh? So be it. So be it. Aircraft engine, let's grab some of that too. Engineers, that's nice. Let's grab some of this too. Thank you. How much artillery do we have? We have 208. We don't have enough guns either, which I mean makes sense, but still. If you could grab Tehua, I would love you. Maybe. Uh, where's the capital? Why is it still Urga? Bogd Connect. Oh, go ahead, guys. Go ahead. You should do fine-ish. That'll be good to go there. And just keep going on in. God dang, his supplies suck. Gosh darn, man. Then again, they're, they're not doing so well either. Both of these guys. Bogd Khan. As well as Mr. Hatman. Yang Zhang Jin. 69,000. Oops. They don't really have a lot of manpower. And they don't have a lot of divisions, which is good and all, but still. Another encirclement? Oh, don't mind if we do. So, when can we deal with the West? We'll offer Britain a certain amount of gold in return for them ending the purchase restrictions. And we, we are 43%. If we were to increase this by a little bit and get more begging army influence, you lose 30 days, we get so much more political power. You know what? Let's do it once. So now, they're at 30%. But they're going down every day, and this is still going back up, so... That should help political power quite a bit. And it's still pretty much under control, so. How did you guys go here? Oh, they occupy Nicaragua. Is this really a democracy? It's enough of a democracy. Nice. Oh, the Qing Constitution. Sound right of constitution for the Chinese nation. Question remains, well, the limitations be, you'll have one year to look over the options and decide after taking this, take, after taking this focus before the event expires. Okay. First, Chongren plan? Oh, well, we could do that, yeah. Finish new reforms. I have to complete this focus, the Xinhai revolution will be prevented. But we can still take these, right? So, we should be able to Take those after we do this one. We have to crush corruption in the KMT. We can officially call ourselves reform. Take it ready to take back what is ours. We should be able to do these ones still. So yeah, there's nothing here stopping us, right? Our Mongolia is controlled by us. Yeah, it looks like it's so. all. We might as well do this one first. You guys, go here first. Yeah, we're mightily struggling, as, as pretty much everyone probably expected us to. I don't mind getting more army speed, though. I like it that a lot. There you go. Circle them if you can. Not bad. Belotsarsk. Tehua. I mean, some of them are not bad, but still. Oh boy. A lot of losses. Hey, two divisions go bye bye? Yes? Oh, look at that. Hope we don't lose too many divisions. Too much strength, at least. Hey, got rid of expanding consumer goods. That's pretty. Okay, so can't get anything. Well, that's okay. Minus 290. Oh boy. How much influence does the buying army actually have now? Is it any worse than before? It doesn't look like it. Bro, you're, you're missing the capital. Come, get the capital. <laughs> and their enemies, our enemies are not looking very strong either, but still. Well, at least they're learning. Level 3, level 2. 
Not learning a lot, but they're still, they're learning. Oh, we need to get that's one. Thank you. Well, all right then. How about we do? Actually, do you still do stuff here? Oh, we do. The first step of a massive infrastructure project across the empire. Or we just do some of this stuff. Eliminate the buying army, the art of war. Contact your friends. Create faction, social empire. Southern Japanese friendship pact. Hmm. Well, let's do this one first. Ooh, we actually get. Ooh, we need some steel. Oh boy. Use your speed, yes, please. Alright, so is that it? To capitulate them, please? Please? I don't want to be in this war anymore. I'm doing it wrong, we're winning and all, but still. How much more do we need to take from the Sin Kyong and the Bogged Kennate? Wow, you guys are literally almost dead. Wow. Pretty bad, man. Pretty bad. Go, horse boys, go! Hey! We got them all! Nice! Finally. We got 15 civilian trains and an additional 15 civilian trains. Nice. The rebels eliminated. Having to fear the rebels, Mongolia, Tibet, and Xinjiang are now longer revolting. As they shouldn't be revolting. Finally. Oh, we can court on them. Well. I'm okay then. Very nice. We're getting a little bit better. Artillery is looking very good now. Um, there you go. Cab to use. Might as well, actually. Did that lower, did that lower their speed. No, it didn't. Okay. Um, well, not bad. Crack down in Mongolia. Oh. Oh, I could have done this one too, I guess, but still. Beg Japanese for assistance. Consolidate spare weapons. Still don't want to lose all that stability yet. And we're still getting weekly stability, which is great and all, but still. Exploit the war. Oh, and here comes World War One. Exploit it. Request Wei Hai Wei. Demand and... and Entente indemnities. All members of this faction involved in the war that hold indemnities will get an event requesting their indemnities on us to be absolved. Additionally, going to war with each country or paying off the debts will also remove the indemnities. Because of their safer positions in the war, Italy, Japan, and the U.S., if they're involved, will not receive demands. Oh. Alright. Better Mausers? Yes, please. We are just leaders in naval doctrines. European grass, no one cares. <clears throat> The art of war. Sun Tzu once said that the greatest war is that not fought. Is one that not fought. Huh. All right. Well, you know what? We could use more war support. Well, Schneikies. Oh wow! They just moved into Montenegro really quickly. We're not a lot of civil again. Well, we have the central powers, which includes Italy this time too. The Russian People's Republic is still fighting. Um, never mind, they died. No one's helping out the Serbs. Which is probably going to guarantee that they're all going to die. Okay then. The path to reform, we need to reform a country we wish to restore to what it once was. We could do that, exploit the war, but not German Confederation still at peace. Got the Panama Canal too, so we can either do this one or the other one. Formalize a pact. It's not bad. Qing Japan Research Agreement. Request Dalian. Request Taiwan. Partition Korea. That's kind of cool. You know, the Pyongyang incident. I kind of want to see what this route will do. Yeah, unlocked. Integrating, integrating Korea. Commit to Korean independence. Annex Korea. Mm, factories are nice and all. Restore Korean tributary status. Crush Korean resistance. Young Yang. Yep, but. Well, Schneikis, that was fast. After the path of reform. 
Yeah, look at Mexico. The fate of Yuan Shikai. Can have to run to the Baiyang army. Integrate them. Well, they can mobilize. Yeah, it's probably good to be mobilizing with you guys too. Big plan, not bad. Actually, what are we on right now? Oh, it's, isolation's not good. Rooster plan. Maybe war support. Uh, dragon stability. A lot of bonuses. A lot of infrastructure. Tiger plan, political power gain. That's not bad, too. Of course, we don't get that much political power, but still. Stability really does help. Army westernization is not worth it right now. Naval dockyard stuff. Honestly, we could use some dockyards. Let's go with that one. Recovery of naval infrastructure. It's just beginning with restoration of the fleet. Which is a real good thing. Hey, more stability and stuff like that. Nice. And I'll probably also do even more infrastructure. That's okay. Let's do Admiralty. Oh, high naval chiefs. Rebel the Summer Palace. Mobilize the Chinese workforce. We have a large population of world. We need to use that to our advantage. The 12 step plan. Following the wisdom of ancient scholars, we'll craft a plan based on the Chinese zodiac. Well, everybody, the Serbs are still here. Um, but we're currently doing the Tiger plan, so we get some more. Uh, not stability, but political power. We'll rid our government of unnecessary work and work on paying on our debts, which is always a good thing. Uh, I'll give us a little more time before we start bribing the Baiyang army versus eliminate the Baiyang army. We'll mobilize our army against the Baiyang army. Let's see if they st will stand down. 25% chance of doing okay. 75% chance of having a civil war. Versus bribing them. A little money will make any belligerent stop. Which will cost a lot of political power. So, oh, we actually have a positive amount. Look at that. Nice. Oh, we got 250 from that. Actually, it's really good. I do want more weekly stability, though. Ah, let's go this one first. We'll focus on securing the legitimacy as rulers of China. Also, apparently London was being besieged by, like, anarchists and communists and stuff like that, so... They just had a coup from Herbert Kitchener to really get things back on track, so... I don't know, he could become a leader here. Orange Order. Aftermath of the Caribbean Affair. Uh, Pax Britannica is not bad, but... Uh... Uh... Africa, from under Marcus Garvey, uh, they won in, well, wherever this is, so they're not doing so well in London. London is having, they're struggling. But then again, who wasn't struggling? <clears throat> uh, you know what, you guys, right there. Not bad. But after the dragon plan, let's see, what do we want to do? Yeah, maybe bribe them. I think maybe bribing them would be the way forward. What do we do with political power? Dismiss them? Decreases buying influence. How do we destroy them? So is there anything when we do... Uh, like if Decreasing influence, does that do anything for us? I mean, yeah, they do have influence like 20% here, but like... Does that really do anything? I'd like to get some more daily army XP instead. And record did go to war with, I think, Mexico or something, so... Uh, defense, 5% defense. Army reformer. I prefer more attack. Let's go with that guy. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, so... Hey, not bad. Good artillery, this would be very good. We already have the motorized, which is nice. 0.42 is not bad. Cut the army wages. Dragon plan, well... Bribe them would be okay, I guess. Well, we can try it. If not, we're gonna have a civil war, so... Bribe them? Wow. Promote loyalists. We could do it. Cut their army influence wages. Really drop their influence quite a bit more, but bribe the generals, pardon them. Move buying army to Xinjiang. The farther away from China, the better. A certain imperial pres presidency, uh, supremacy, imperial pre pre supremacy. Because this didn't change at all. The dragon plan is nice. Tiger plan is nice. It'd be nice to just combine all the plans together, but whatever. Yeah, because there's nothing really there. <clears throat> Hopefully we do okay, and then the fate of Yang Shikai. What shall we do with Yang Shikai, the leader of the Baiyang army? The rap plan. Weekly manpower plus 600 is pretty nice. More construction speed, rabbit. I do want to get the extra war support every week. That'd be very good to get. The horse plan gets you a lot more units, which is good. And more speed. The dog plan. More research game, which we get absolutely used. Don't get me wrong. Let's grab the rooster plan. We'll focus on spreading propaganda about war and how it's essential. Huh. And how it's absolutely essential. So... We're really trying to build ourselves up now and see if we can actually compete against other people. And by other people, I mean the Japanese, because Japanese got to go bye-bye. Oh, wow, what happened here? Commonwealth of... Oh. 
Lord Protector. Damaged garrisons, attack and defense on core territory, daily proto-fascism, and high command. They say fascism. I'm looking for the brown here, the gold brown, but I guess it's just war office. And it's just kind of blackish. Blackish. Happy 1916, though, everybody. Let's get some helmets. Uh, where's the rooster? It's weird having a pink Ottoman Empire, but... I guess we avoided the Civil War? And we got rid of the Baiyang army? Alright! Not bad! Well then. That seems pretty good. And then we'll do the fate of this dude and... The sheep plan doesn't look too bad. Uh, I like the war support. We could really use more resources. But at the same time, it would be really beneficial to get rid of free trade eventually as well. No guarantees that we will get rid of it, but still. Uh, we've got a couple of things we could do here too. Such as the second Chong Grand Plan. That's the second step to a massive overall for all of our rural roads and uh, rails. We'll do that one, we'll do this one. We build a summer palace when the Westerners invaded our country 70 years ago. They burned a great palace. We need to build as a symbol of new strength and set the national anthem. Cup of solid gold. Well, th the Germans have just declared war on us. Um, and they called Austria hungry. So. Okay, whether through war diplomacy, current world situations lost to no longer pay this debt. Okay then. Finally, yay! I guess. Sure, guys. Um, I hope they don't naval invade or anything like that. I hope they don't send their navy over here. But okay. Uh, that's something I was not expecting them to do, but... Alright. Alright, the divisions aren't going to be that great, especially for uh, enemy divisions, but... It would be a good way to... Do okay against these guys, I guess. I mean, our navy is really bad. It's quite, quite not good, but... Hopefully the army does okay. That's all I'm concerned about. Nice. Hey, not bad. Yeah, we're doing relatively okay-ish. I mean, obviously our divisions aren't, aren't super great, but, you know... We're doing what we can, given the circumstances. Hey, free war propaganda would be pretty decent, too. And we got rid of quite a bit of indemnities. We're still doing the second Kyong-Gren plan. Of course, the massive overhaul update our rural roads and rails, but... I still need to do this one, too. The fate of Yuan Shikai. Exploit the war. Well, they were not going to war, which is not very good. So... We might have used Khan's command or something to get that stuff done. But getting 1, 2, 3, 45 free infrastructure would be really good. So... We'll see. Nice. They have five divisions here, and we can't sink anything here? Man, come on. Oh, wow, look at all this stuff. Huh. Cool. Hmm. Extraction speed's okay. So more special forces, attack and defense, I think it's just better overall. And no Air Force guy, of course. So, which makes sense. Uh, anything else here? Cost. Artillery. I'd just rather get this one, probably. Oh, do you guys want to go in or not? Nah? Oh, you both want to go to the same one. Okay. Well, we're getting weekly war sports, so we should be okay with that. Naval. Let's go get some naval stuff done. I want more naval stuff. Army stuff. And treasure speed's not bad, though. But maybe we'll use special forces. We'll see. Oh, we actually lost. Oh, crap. Go and repair. Oh, well, I became level 4. He was level 3 earlier. Holy crap. All right. Line infantry equipment. Nice. Oh, I forgot about all this stuff, too. Well, God. well we all have two things, so what, what, what can we do about them? No, not much. Not much. Kill all five divisions? Well, or now all four divisions? Modify Officer Corps? Then again, we're still on Cold of the Offensive, so... I don't really like Cold of the Offensive, either. Oh, hello. I think we're going to be at war for a long time. If not forever. Better the fate of this guy. 
Um, capture remnants of the Baiying army? We could do that one. Get more Chinese units. Get more research slots, though. Hmm. Minor military expansion or military has been weak for too long. Uh, it's time to take a step into improving it. You and Ka she Kyle spot a try to escape to Japan on a private plane. What should we do with them? Execute them. Spare and imprison them at a cost. Exile them at a cost. Re recruit them. Oh, goodbye. Alright. Well then. Oh, they're desperately trying to hold on. Grinding down, and they've been grinded down. Okay, so. Well, at least we got Qingdao back for now. We might have to fight the Japanese, though, too. Go ahead, go ahead. Are we importing anything? No. Well then. Mm. I don't know why they went to war with us. We're not ready for that yet either. And how what? I have to get all that stuff. Basic house is nice, but still. And my goodness, do we need a lot more resources? Oof. Nice. Oh, we can go straight up here. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Yeah. Let's have a, a, a political power for that. Uh, prepare for the revolution? That's not bad. I don't really have to do that stuff, though. Um, this will, actually, you know what? Maybe we'll race down and get that one at this point. So, Army Westernization. It'll be a new new Army of China. Invite military advisors. All the Europeans all know how to form a European Army. Uh, it's necessary to adopt Japanese European experience and training officers. And then we need one of these two. So then towed artillery. Artillery decides the outcome of the war. Train engineers. Many centuries ago, China was famous for its engineers and vendors. Now I have to use experience of European plants. And we'll probably go with armored vehicles. A very useful thing if you want to scare the enemy in Peking University. If we have enough money, we can afford to revive higher education. Well, everyone, this has turned weird. As you can tell, we're at war with Japan right now. Um, I've done some other focuses. We're doing uh, capture the remnants of the Baiying Army. There are a few remaining pockets of resistance. What should we do with these? Of course, it's 1918 now, but the world's gone to crap. Obviously, J Japan Germany went to war with us, which is fine, but then they called in all the central powers, including Austria-Hungary and Italy and all them. But then Japan joined as well. So that's why we're fighting them now. Oh, we're going to need to cover our southern border here. Crap as well. That's not good. And Persia's in. The Ottoman Empire has fallen to the Commonwealth of Britain as well. Um... They're fighting... They took out the Ottoman Empire and actually just, like, spit them out, so... This has turned into a very weird, weird world. Hello, Woodrow Wilson. But, so, I'm actually glad I looked at this part, too. Because uh, we are definitely going to need some more guns and stuff like that, so... Other than that, we're doing okay. We're holding out. We don't have a lot of supply up north, as you can probably tell. We're going to need some logistic companies. But, let's do this last focus, and then we'll do a couple more. I'll do a couple more off-screen and... Get things done. I forgot to read these ones as well, but integrate the buying remnants. How do we get rid of the buying army? We can now offer some of them a position back in our army. Destroy our fleets. Torpedo boats and patrols to the Great Qing. Admiralty. Who knows how to swim? Support Corps. Europeans have long abandoned backwards formations consisting of only infantry and trained pilots. There are no pilots in China yet. Increase Navy funding. It's not enough to rebuild the fleet. Our fleet must be modern and organized. It's time to learn from the Japanese did and modernize our navy, starting with increasing its budget. Sub fleet. Maneuverable fleet. Dreadnought fleet. I did this one last time, so maneuverable fleet, maybe. A fleet must be multifunctional. And domestic fleet doctrine. Uh, there's nothing there, and prepare for the revolution. The revolution is coming, everyone knows it. We must be ready. God, we got so many supply issues. They just had to go to war with us, didn't they? And the French wants to join their faction, but we can form our own faction. And I don't know, the French are holding out. And they're honestly not doing too badly. Well, I did go to war economy, we could go to total mobilization. I did go to limited exports as well. Um, other than that, not really much else has happened. I'd like to go with that guy, but we're doing really, 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 really well already. Um, uh, yeah, when the Westerners invaded our country 70 years ago, they burned a great palace. We should rebuild as a symbol of its new strength. But, other than that, I think I'm going to do a couple more focuses off-screen, and we'll, we'll see what happens. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll finish off the focus tree, and, uh, yeah, pretty much see what happens. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.